Many of us enjoy tea or coffee on a daily basis and you must be pleased to know that our plants and garden also enjoy these beverages as well but at zero cost. In this video let's learn about the top benefits of using used tea bags or tea waste and also used coffee grounds for our plants and garden and at the end of the video how to make and store tea waste fertilizer that can be used consistently for your flowering plants plus the dosage to offer for your plants that's coming up welcome back if you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants consider subscribing to this channel also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything what is garbage in your kitchen can actually turn into treasure in your garden used tea and coffee grounds have unique uses in gardening we will quickly look at the top benefits of tea waste and coffee grounds for plants and garden the first in the list is it's an excellent organic fertilizer the tea and coffee wastes contain tannic acid and other nutrients best use is on flowering plants like the rose which can increase flowering in these plants both in quality as well as quantity let's first quickly list out all the other benefits first and then at the end we'll discuss on how to make this fertilizer and how to use it then the second in the list is in composting best used in wormy composting because the worms love these that is the earthworms love these and digest them very fast and produce results fast that means it speeds up the process of wormy composting most of the tea bags can be dropped into the compost bin as it is because they are made up of biodegradable material the exception is for polypropylene bags which look like plastic and should not be used in for this procedure then the third in the list is weed suppression Tea bags waste also uh, help prevent growth of unwanted plants that is weeds if sprinkled around your plants. Then the fourth benefit is keep your pets like cats away from your plants like you can stop them from urinating on your favorite plants both indoors as well as outdoor plants. Then fifth benefit is you can drive away certain pests like uh, the root maggots, slugs and snails and also some cockroaches. Then the sixth benefit is it offers a slightly acidic pH to acid loving plants. It slightly lowers the soil pH due to its tannic acid content and hence benefit acid loving plants. Then seventh benefit is making a well drained potting mix. You can use this dried tea waste as an alternative to perlite or even vermiculite because it helps in moisture retention and makes a well draining soil for container gardening. You can watch my separate video on what is perlite and what is vermiculite from a link at the top right corner of this video. Well now we'll learn how to make this awesome tea waste fertilizer for rose and other flowering plants and how much to offer to them. For this you start collecting the used tea or coffee grounds in a container and uh, then rinse in water and then dry it in sunlight for 1-2 to two days and then store it in a dry container. That's it. You can now start offering this to your plants once every 15 days. Like about 4 to 5 teaspoons onto the soil after raking the soil thoroughly. This will boost flowering and improve the overall health of the plant. One more bonus tip here is you can make this mix more special and more powerful just like a world multivitamin for your plants. By mixing some powdered iron tablets plus few calcium tablets which can be easily available uh, in your local pharmacy. You can also add eggshell powder as a substitute for calcium. Please also watch my video on eggshell uh, and its uses in gardening from a link at the top right corner of this video. So there we have it folks that was a quick episode on using used tea bags on your plants. If you have some more tips please suggest them in the comment section below the video. Also give a thumbs up if you like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!